I have Harsh and Amit here with me. Guys, you must be absolutely delighted, finally, with the three finally points. Yeah. Um, well, I think we've played better than the last game. We won 1-0 one and I think Kennedy was a surprise for me. And I'm actually glad he started. He played really well. And I think he should start again, but maybe not in the left back row. Where so would you put him? Would you put him further <coughs> forward then? I would play him further forward, yeah. Ahead of who, possibly, though? Because I think a lot um, of the, the, yeah. the, the Pedro, Hazard, William, they all play pretty well today. Um, I don't think Pedro played that well. So, you have him ahead of Pedro. yeah. What was your take on Ivanovic? Oh, back Ivanovic. After seven games. I think the thing is, he was a bit nervous when he like started the game. I remember when they were just passing along the back and then he just cleared the ball. I mean, obviously he's not in great form, but we were discussing the teams in the tube like before we got here. Yeah. And we just said Ivanovic is going to start because him and Mourinho. This. Do you just think like, it was right for him to start? Um, personally, no, I don't think so. Uh, we were lucky that Norwich won that clinical in the final third because just at the Villa game, if they were, we would have been punished. So for the next, we've obviously got Tel Aviv away, yeah. Spurs away. Would you start Baba Raman then? Um, yeah, I'll play Baba Raman on the left and Aspilicueta on the right. And yeah. Kennedy further up front. Yeah. Yeah. We kept another clean, well, I say another, we kept a clean sheet today, which is a great yeah. thing for us. Yeah, I mean, it's a rare thing. Yeah. But looking at it, I think Diego Costa, just sorry to mention him, I just had to get to him. No, no, please That's mention it, yeah. him. Scored after yeah. 500 minutes of football. Yeah, exactly, he scored a goal. But the thing is, I don't think his all-round play was that good. Mm. I think I was in the shed lower, so Hazard crossed it in. There was no one in the box. Like, he was just like, he was in the box, but he was at the edge. Yeah. He wasn't like so we great. Were creating, yeah. but we just weren't converting. Yeah, there was no hunger for, from Diego Costa. But I think overall, all that, all that I care about is the result. Yeah. I care that we get into the top four, hopefully. Do um, you think we can? On, on I mean, how we've done so far, with 13 games in, do you think we can finish in the, the top, top four? four? I think we can, but we really need to win as many games as possible, obviously. And I think our upcoming <laughs> fixtures aren't too bad. So we could possibly well, break I hope we don't go back to square one because I remember we beat Aston Villa yeah. and then we lost we the rest time and so yeah. on. And yeah. we've got Spurs next. So like, we need consistency yeah. basically. And Spurs are in good form. Like I've heard a lot about them recently, just saw a few highlights. They're playing really well. White Hart Lane last season, we all know what happened. No, it's a massive, 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 massive yeah, game. Yeah, massive game. But I'm just hoping that the players stick together and it's onwards and upwards. But January, we need to strengthen, I think. That's what, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what fingers crossed we have uh, a, a very... Uh, oh, well, John Stones, yeah, but that, yeah. that's for another day, another conversation. We need to sign a striker instead. All right, well, thank you very much for thank talking you. to me. To the Chelsea Thanks. fans channel. The international break is over. Uh, real football is back upon us again, and I am delighted.